Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. Today I want to share three tips that are going to help you moving better around the tennis court. It's going to be a very concise, focused video, so I will not make a lot of, lot of introduction. I will just get right into it. So here's the first tip. Uh, you should be, when you're moving around the court, as long as the ball is in play, you should be 10 centimeters lower. That will be like four inches lower than your usual height. So I'm 180 centimeters, that will be like 5'11". So if I'm just standing, I'm 180 centimeters. And when I play tennis, I should be at least 170, if not a little bit lower. So a good way to also think about is to have, you know, wide base as you're moving around. So that is going to lower you automatically. But to avoid overthinking, we can simplify and you can feel yourself kind of better. You're more aware just of your head and how you, how you see the world, right? So if you kind of lower yourself, you have different perspective. And so when I start playing right now, my assistant Kai is just going to hit me some balls. So right now, if I'm staying at 180, then it looks like this, right? So obviously we don't want to hit like this, but I just want to show you an example. What does it mean if I'm playing at the same height as tall as I am, right? So I want to be about 10 centimeters lower. So as soon as the ball is in play, I'm going to lower myself for about four inches. So the only thing that allows me to go high is of course split step that's when I'm gonna go over my height and when I'm rising to hit a shot so first I'm lower and if it's a bit higher ball or basically any ball I'm kind of rising up so I go over that limit of 170 for me so when I'm playing I'm 170 I'm already here so now I rise over and I go back and I'm as long as I'm moving around I'm staying four inches lower than my normal height. The second tip is that you should try and move in the shape of the L when you can. So when players don't move, move in the shape of L, which you will understand in a minute what I mean. So when the ball goes to the side, so Kaya, you feed me one ball to the side. So players just move there like that and they end up in close stance. Because in their mind's eye, all they see is the ball coming there and they're just moving that way. So they're going that way to the ball and they're hitting and they're going to end up in close stance many times without any weight transfer. So I try and show again. So players not moving in the L, they're moving there and they end up like this. This happens also very often on the two-handed backhand. Players are here, they're moving here. They step here and now they end up here and they can't rotate the hip, which is the main source of power and stability for the stroke. So not moving in the L is basically just moving this way. And moving in the L means that I want to get behind the ball and then I move forward. So the L that I have in mind is like this. So this is the L. So what I want to do is when I move towards the ball, I want to get really behind the ball with this foot and then I can step forward. So I have to speed up with the first two steps, I speed up and then I can step forward. So I want to get behind the ball and forward. Moving in the L is not always possible. Sometimes the ball is too fast and we cannot step into it. So we have to play open stance forehand or open stance backhand. So if I play open stance, then this moving like this and forward too much at recreational level, a bit lower level is going to be problematic. You will have poor ball control. So I don't recommend you're trying to push yourself forward. If you end up in open stance, I recommend you try to be very stable and balanced. Watch my video on calming down. So it's much better that you're stable and balanced on this ball than trying to push yourself forward. So much better to hit like this. I'm moving to the ball. I stabilize, I rotate, I have good stability. Then I will go like this back. 
so I'm not thinking about going forward, I just rotate. So here's how one-handed backhand looks like when you don't move in the L. Now, one thing about one-handed backhand is that it's more forgiving being in, in close stance. So if I end up in close stance, I can still hit quite a good backhand. So I will demonstrate the wrong way. I'm just running towards the ball. We go one more. So I'm just running towards the ball and then players end up like this. So their last step is this way. So they're not moving in the L, they're just moving like this. And that's going to be a problem many times. So what I want to do is I want to move in the L shape like this, so that the last step is towards the ball. So the next movement tip I want to share, I call moving down the slope. So for you to better understand what the problem is, let me show you first the problem and then I'll show you the solution. So the problem is when players move towards the ball, they kind of end up here at the ball and when they are too upright, they didn't follow the first tip, but even if they did, they can end up kind of like in this position and then they feel that they don't have time now to go down and up. So in their mind's eye, they're kind of visualizing the stroke. Okay, I have to go to the ball and then I'm gonna go down and then I'm gonna go up if I want to load my legs. So let me try and show you with the ball. And then, uh oh, I'm here. I have to hit the ball. I don't have time if they try to go down and up. So they go to the ball. Now they go down and up. Oh, the ball is in my face. So they run out of time they subconsciously or consciously realize that, so every time as they're moving to the ball, they don't load. They just come there and hit, they either just run through or they stand on a straight leg. So I try again, so they kind of come here, okay, now I hit, I don't have time to go down. So the, the solution is to visualize moving down the slope, because now the player is moving kind of horizontally, and now you have to visualize that already as you start moving towards the ball, you are lowering yourself. So if I show you first without the ball, here I am not 180, 170, and as I'm going towards the ball, I am lowering myself all the time along the way, so that when I arrive at the hitting point, I'm already loaded with my leg. So we try with the ball. So see, now I was going down the slope. I will exaggerate a bit that you see, so I'm gonna start too high. I'm gonna start very tall and then I'm going to move down the slope and then when I arrive there, my leg is loaded. So I arrive there and my leg is loaded and I can come up. So that works for open and neutral stance. So I can go down the slope, step in and rise. then I rise. I go down the slope. So that means as I'm moving towards the ball, I'm already lowering myself. Here's how backhand looks like when players don't move down the slopes or they just come here. They're gonna end up on a straight leg and hit the ball. So here we go. I try for show the wrong way. There you go, next one. So the player kind of comes here and hits the ball, especially if the ball is a little bit higher. So it's a little bit higher and then it makes no sense to go down to them first and secondly they feel okay there's no time I just stepped I just stepped and I have to hit the ball is in my face there's no way I can step go down and up right so yes there is no time to do that it's the wrong sequence so I have to move I have to move down the slope so let me exaggerate first I will exaggerate so I will start very upright that you see like I'm very tall 
and then I go to the ball and as I'm coming to the ball I'm lowering myself so I start very tall and then I come down and then I can rise on this ball yeah. so I am moving from here I'm moving down the slope immediately I start moving down the slope so when I come here I'm already low Le uh, my legs are loaded and they can then rise into the shot even if the ball is a little bit higher I'm going to rise into this ball to apply topspin so I'm gonna go down okay this one is low if the ball is a little bit higher I'm gonna go down and I'm going to rise to apply topspin And I have one more bonus tip, very simple tip. As long as the ball is in play, when you're playing free hitting or match, you have to be moving. So in tennis, there is no such thing as standing or walking while the ball is in play. If you want to walk, go for a walk. If you want to stand or sit down, go home to sit on the couch. When you come to a tennis court, you came here to do recreation, to move, to help your body to stay healthy. And so, do not try to avoid movement. <laughs> you came here to move, so move. So as long as the ball is in play, you are moving however you want to move, foot to foot, little split steps, whatever you want to do. Try to catch yourself if you ever stand or walk while the ball is in play. So I'm going to hit a few balls now with Kaya. Observe what I'm doing and I'll see you next time. So here we go. As soon as I hit, I'm moving. There is a little moment of calming down, like I was teaching you in the calm down video. And then I'm moving, dancing, positioning, split stepping, always on the move, always light on the feet, little stability moment for every shot. At the end of every shot, I calm down when I can. This one I cannot. Yeah and moving moving always moving just not for that split moment of calming down to finish your stroke